Our gathering hymn number 377, Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy servant proclaim. All in heaven the poor adore thee. And on earth thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. And on earth thy vast domain. Everlasting In the name of the Father, to the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear friends, today is the memorial of the Blessed Marie Rose de Rocher, Virgin of our Church, that we may be prepared to celebrate this Mass we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, who enkindled in the heart of the Blessed Marie Rose de Rocher, the flame of ardent charity in a great desire to cooperate in the mission of the church as a teacher, grant us the same active love, so that in responding to the needs of the world today, we may lead our brothers and sisters to the blessedness of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I fled at first to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, rich in clemency, loath to punish. And now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, Have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a gourd plant that grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun arose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than alive. But God said to Jonah, Have you reason to be angry over the plant? I have reason to be angry, Jonah answered, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned over the plant, which cost you no labor and which you did not raise. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned over Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot distinguish their right hand from their left, not to mention the many cattle? The word of the Lord. 
Yes, be to God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John caught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. We always pray the Our Father, and when we constantly pray it, we seem to just simply s repeat and say the words. When we were small, we were required to pray the Our Father and we're obliged to memorize it. And that's this kind of disposition. It seems that it turned to become a formulated prayer repeatedly uttered and spoken, but sometimes we already forgot its meaning. The Our Father are the same words of prayer that the loving Lord Jesus has taught us. It is not just the prayer taught to us, but it is how the way we should pray as what has been asked by his apostles and is what has been taught to them by Jesus. So how wonderful and special this prayer is. And it began with Jesus introducing to us that we call his Father, our Father too. We don't just simply move our heads up to the sky and talk to God, but we call God our Father. In our prayerful journey, my dear friends, Jesus has introduced this kind of a relationship. We have a Father who forgives us. We have a Father who also asks us to forgive. We have a Father that provides something for us. We have a Father who would stand us even up to the test. So each day when we pray this prayer, let it become our affection to the loving God as well. He is truly our Father who listens and cares for all of us. Mm -hmm. 
Let us all stand. The, the Father is one of the most precious gifts left to us as a prayer by the Divine Master during his earthly mission. Let us address to the Father in communion with our brothers and sisters. May we invoke the Holy Spirit, the protagonist of our prayer, who breathes in the heart of believers and enables us to pray as children of God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. May peoples of the earth see and invoke God as Father, more than judge or ruler, as Jesus himself taught his disciples, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayers. May the Heavenly Father give us our daily bread, all life's necessities, and make us share with our brothers and sisters, especially those who have less in life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. May we have the humility to ask forgiveness for our sins and trespasses, and the heart to forgive those who have wronged us, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. May the Lord give us the strength to overcome temptations and preserve us from the wiles and malice of the evil one, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the special intention of Kim Marsh Non family, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Silently we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. We pray for the healing of Debbie McMasters, and also we pray for the tender repose of Teresa Prado. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we come to you with a trust as commanded by your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, he has made us your sons and daughters by his passion, death, and resurrection. May we pray to you saying, Abba, Father, Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 546. 546, see us, Lord, about your altar. See us, Lord, about your altar, though so many we are one. Many souls by love united in the heart of Christ, your Son. Hear our prayers, O loving Father, hear in them your Son, our Lord. Hear him speak our love and worship as we sing with one accord. Once were seen the blood and water, now is seen by bread and wine. Was in human form he suffered, now his form is but a sign. Wheat and grape contain the meaning, food and drink he is to all. Once in him we kneel adoring, gathered by his loving call. Hear us yet, so much is needful in our frail, disordered life. 
Stay with us and turn the weakness till the day of no more strife. Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, Blessed Mary Rose, we humbly implore your majesty that her merits are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience in this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as we don't end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, you pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distresses. We await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. She go to the sea in the homebound, taking not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community. As for the prayers of those whom you have to visit in return, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. Renewed by the partaking of these divine gifts, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of your blessed Mary Rose de Rocher, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, may I give you the following announcements. Tomorrow, 
It's the first Thursday of the month. We're going to have our holy hour right after the Mass, and we will repose the Blessed Sacrament at 7 p.m. And also, since tomorrow is the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, within the Holy Hour, we're going to pray the Rosary as well. And by next week, it will be the priest convocation. All of our priests in the diocese will gather in Harrisonburg, so we will not be having daily Masses um, next week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen, Almighty God. Bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 378. 378. Praise to the Lord. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise Him, for He is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to His altar draw near. Joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord who shall prosper our work and defend us. Surely his goodness and mercy shall dearly attend us. Ponder anew what the Almighty can do, who with his love will be friend. 